So today I'm talking about a Ford with the P0303 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Ford P0303 code? Well, it's a cylinder three misfire detected. And what does this mean? Well, there's multiple cylinders inside of an engine and they all need to have the right air fuel ratio mixture going in. And the fuel is going into the cylinder with the fuel injector along with air from the intake. And then at the correct time, the spark plug ignites this mixture, which will make the engine run. And when you get a misfire code, something's gone wrong with this. Either the fuel's not going in correctly, or there's no spark or something along these lines. And so it's gonna have to be troubleshooted to know why. And what are some possible causes? Well, it could be a bad spark plug, or it could be a bad spark plug wire. It could be a bad coil, the coil could have failed. The injector might be having issues, it might have failed, or it might have become clogged up, or something along these lines. But a bad fuel injector can cause this. And if you have an older Ford that has a distributor, then it could be a bad distributor cap. And it's also possible that it's a mechanical problem, like a bad valve or a bad lifter, but that's fairly rare. Usually when you have this problem, there's either gonna be a problem with the spark going to cylinder number three, or with the gas, going into cylinder number three. And so how do you go about troubleshooting a Ford with the P0303 code? Well, first thing to do is locate this cylinder number three. The P0303 is pointing to this cylinder number three having an issue. As you can see, these codes will point to which cylinder is having the problem. So for example, if you're getting a P0301, that would be cylinder number one. And so for a P0303 code, it's gonna be the number three cylinder. And so the first thing to do is to go locate that cylinder number three on your particular engine. And once you locate it, there's a few different ways you go about troubleshooting this. One of the first thing to do is check out the spark plug wire going to cylinder number three. Be sure that it's good, it's not having no issues. If you have injector coils that slide in and out of the cylinders, check them out and be sure they're not damaged, they're not cracked or anything like this. Basically just look at cylinder number three and be sure that all the components don't look like they have any physical damage on them. If that all looks good, then the next thing to do is to check to see if you're getting spark at cylinder number three. And there's a few different ways to do this. Some people will hold the spark plug wire really close to a ground wire and see if it jumps. The method I like to use is I use these inline spark testers. These are real low cost items. They're like less than $10. I'll put a link down below if you need one. But basically one side goes to the spark plug, the other side goes to the coil, and then you start the engine. And if you're getting spark, then you're gonna see it inside of here. You'll see a spark happening. But like I said, there's different ways you can check for spark. But one of the first things to do is to check in cylinder number three and be sure that you're getting a spark going to it. And if you check in and you're not getting no spark, then the things to check out would be something along the lines like a coil pack. If you have injector coils that slide in and out of each cylinder, you can swap it with the one next to it and see if the problem follows. So for example, if you pull it out and you swap it with cylinder number two, you clear the codes and then you get a P0302 code, then you know that coil's bad and needs to be replaced. But if you're not getting no spark, go and check your coils. You can also remove the spark plug on cylinder number three and be sure that it's good, especially if the engine has a lot of miles on it and the spark plugs have never been changed or something along these lines. But you can also check out the spark plug because the spark plug might be having issues. If you are getting spark, then very likely you're having an issue with the fuel injector. And so the next thing to go and do would be to test the fuel injector. And again, there's different ways to go about doing this. You can't swap it with the one next to it and see if the problem follows. If you have a multimeter, you could check it for resistance. And basically the way you do this is that you test one next to it that you know is good and you check to see what that resistance is. And then the injector that you want to test should be fairly close to this. It shouldn't be like hugely different or it shouldn't be zero or something along these lines. So if you have a meter, then you could test it like this. These injectors can also become clogged up and things along these lines. So they can also be removed and examined. But the next thing to do would be to test the injector on cylinder number three and be sure it's working correctly. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Ford with the P0303 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.